This video explains put options for dummies. It takes Tesla as an underlying stock and explains how you can sell put options on it to profit, buy it below the market price, and make a 100% return on your investment. At the time of making this video, Tesla is traded at $240 per share. The stock declined about 4% in the final trading session of the week. We don't know if it will go up or down when the market opens on Monday. However, we do know that we do not want to buy the Tesla stock at $240 per share. We want to buy it at a cheaper price, say $220 per share. At $240 per share, 100 shares of Tesla will cost us $24,000. At $220 per share, the same will cost us only $22,000. That saves us as much as $2,000. But how are we going to do that? That is where put options come in. Options are sold in contracts. One contract holds 100 shares. We will sell one contract of put options to buy 100 shares of Tesla. According to Tesla's option chain on the NASDAQ website, put options expiring in two months for a $220 strike price are traded at $12. That is called premium in the market language. If we sell one contract of put options, we will receive a premium of $1,200. $1,200 comes to our account. That means our total investment will not be $22,000. It will be $20,800 because we will have already received $1,200 in premiums. That also means we will not buy Tesla at $220 per share. We will actually buy it at $208 per share. After we sell the put option, three things can happen. Tesla can rise above the current price or at least stay above our strike price of $220. Tesla can trade between $208 and $220. Tesla can fall below $208 Per share. All these affect us. Number one, if Tesla stays above 220 at the end of the trading session on the put option expiration date, we profit 100% of $1,200. It is our profit without buying Tesla. Number two, if Tesla trades between 208 and 220, we still have a profit. We will be assigned Tesla shares at $220, and our premium will not be 100%. Say Tesla sells at $218 at that time. Our cost-adjusted premium will be $1,000 since our share price was $220 instead of $218. Number three, if Tesla falls below $208 on the option expiration date, our actual loss will begin but that will be a minimum loss. At $208, our loss is zero. But at $200 per share, our loss will be $800. But compare this loss to a loss of $2,000, which we would have had we bought Tesla at $220 per share from the market without selling a put option. However, we are not done yet. We can sell a covered call at that time at a $208 strike price to receive a premium of at least $1,000 on our Tesla shares. Now Tesla has to fall below $198 per share to cause us any loss. If you are an options trader, you may profit from options continuously. There will be losing trades for sure, but that is normal. If you are an investor, sell Tesla put only if you are planning to hold Tesla for some time. You should feel proud of holding Tesla when you are assigned the stock after Tesla falls below your strike price. If you have more money, you can sell another put option $20 below Tesla's market price at that time instead of selling a covered call on your shares. That will bring your dollar cost average further down. And when Tesla picks up again, you will be sitting on a pile of hard cash. I use interactive brokers to trade stocks and options. 
They have the lowest margin interest rates in the industry and their service is quite excellent. I made a video on how to use their platform trader workstation recently to help new traders. I have given you a link to that video and a link to interactive brokers in the description below. You will receive free interactive brokers shares, ticker IBKR, up to $1,000 for using my link. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching this far. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Liking and sharing this video will also help. This is a new channel and I want to grow it fast. I need all your help.